everyone and hello there YouTube. This is me, uh, your daily YouTube broadcaster, signing in to give you the latest news and updates on blockchain today. Now for this video, we'll be talking about the featured articles on today's newsletter at preferredcurrency.news. But guys, before we go there, I would just like to invite you all to join, join us with this new Initiative Q program here. Now, Initiative Q is an attempt by XPayPal guys to create a new payment system instead of the existing old credit card system that was designed way back in the 1950s. The system uses its own currency called the Q and to get people to start using the system once it's ready, they are allocating Qs for free to people like you who sign up now. Now, the amount drops later as more and more people join, so it's better for you to join now while it's free and it's still early. Now, signing up to Initiative Q is completely free, which uh, they will only need your name and an email address. There is nothing to lose, but if this payment system becomes a world-leading payment method, your Qs can be worth a lot. So guys, if you missed getting Bitcoin 7 years ago, you would not want to miss this one. Now, here is your special limited invite link in the description below. Now, guys, the link shown will stop working once we're out of free invites. So guys, click it now and don't get left behind on this one. Alright, so now moving forward, let's go to the articles today, which is about this one here. Ripple adds 5th largest Southeast Asian bank to enterprise blockchain network. China's IT ministry calls for acceleration of blockchain in the, uh, standardization. And Columbia University, IBM launched two accelerator programs for blockchain enterprises. Alright, now let's go to each article. First, China's IT ministry calls for acceleration of blockchain standardization. Now, a document published November 12 on the official website of the Cyberspace Administration of China, or CAC, calls on the country to accelerate the development of standards for the blockchain industry. The text has been authored by the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology, or MIT's Zhao Ping, who is also Secretary General of the China Blockchain Technology and Industry Development Forum and Director of the Software Engineering and Evaluation Center at China's Electronics Technology Standardization Research Institute. The document argues that the development of a reference blockchain architecture standard is of crucial importance for guiding the selection of application of blockchain systems across diverse domestic industries. It outlines the domestic blockchain standardization work began as early as 2016 with the publication of the Development Forum's white paper, which stipulated five categories for blockchain standardization such as foundation, processes and method, interoperability, business and applications, and information security. After the forum completed its basic standard reference architecture as of May 2018, it reportedly completed 10 international blockchain standards such as terminology and concepts, reference architecture, classification and ontology which have now entered development stage. While blockchain standardization work continues to deepen, the text highlights that several hurdles still impede its completion, slowing industrial scale development. Now, this reportedly include misunderstandings or an immature and imbalanced view of the technology's application across various industries and scenarios and insufficient cultivation of blockchain talent which it notes is especially needed to train standardization practitioners. The author calls on the country to expedite standardization as the technology's potential applications continue to extend beyond the bounds of finance to supply chain management, social welfare, and uh, the culture and entertainment industries and other fields. 
The author further recommends that China seize the opportunity to play a key role in the international development of blockchain standards, while drawing upon the reformulating these international standards for China's situation. As previously reported, China has been ratcheting up its efforts to complete a blockchain standardization system as soon as possible, creating a dedicated government committee for the express purpose and most recently announcing standards should be issued by the end of 2019. So guys, that was for the first article on today's newsletter about China's IT ministry calls for acceleration of blockchain standardization. Now let's go to the second article about Columbia University, IBM launched two accelerator programs for blockchain enterprises. IBM and Columbia University have announced two blockchain accelerator programs that aim to help startups in the space innovate at scale, according to an IBM News release November 19. Both programs form part of the Columbia IBM Center for Blockchain and Data Transparency, a joint innovation center that was established by the tech giant and U.S. Ivy League school this summer. According to the release, each program will support 10 startups, offering them a network of business mentors, technical support, access to Columbia student talent, and research community design assistance, and IBM cloud technology resources. The state aim is to help network creators translate ideas into sustainable and scalable blockchain enterprises, which will in turn spur meaningful enterprise blockchain adoption and drive business efficiencies across industries. The eight-week Columbia Blockchain Launch Accelerator, set to take place in New York City, has been designed for free uh, pre-seed idea stage companies that are affiliated with either Columbia or another NYC-based school at the release outlines. The second eight-week program, dubbed IBM Blockchain Accelerator, is targeted at later stage companies globally and will aim to help participants establish a business network and client base for their blockchain application. It will be partially run in person in New York and San Francisco and partly in combination with virtual programming to give participants more free time to devote to their business scaling efforts. Each participant startup in both programs will reportedly be supplied with around $400,000 worth of access to technology and services. Neither program takes equity or charges a fee for participation. As reported earlier this fall, fellow New York-based school, New York University, or NYU, has claimed to be the first U.S. school to offer a major in blockchain technology to be provided by the NYU Turn School of Business. Many other top-ranked universities globally already offer a host of blockchain and crypto-related courses. IBM, which has also known or own Hyperledger-powered cloud blockchain platform, has made major inroads to the enterprise blockchain space. The firm is ranked second worldwide in terms of number of blockchain-related patent filed, patents filed as of August 31, 2018, second only to China's e-commerce giant Alibaba. Right, so that was for the second article about Columbia University IBM launched two accelerator programs for blockchain enterprises. Right, now let's go to the last article. About Ripple adds fifth largest Southeast Asian bank to enterprise global network. RippleNet is expanding its network of banks by adding Malaysia's CIMB group to its fold. CIMB is the ASEAN's fifth largest bank and will team up with Ripple to work on enabling instant cross border payments for CIMB's markets. RippleNet's customer base now constitutes over a hundred global financial institutions, which CIMB will be able to partner with, facilitating global payments. 
Despite being on the cutting edge of technological development, CIMB is one of Southeast Asia's first banks to turn to the blockchain for faster, easier payments. Partnering with RippleNet will allow the bank to pass on this benefit to its customers, many of whom currently live with slow and inefficient procedures. World Bank and Figures or Figures place the value of remittance to Southeast Asia at a massive $120 billion in 2018, but the size of the global market for cross-border payments is even bigger with Boston Consulting Group, BCG, estimating an annual volume of $27 trillion. This is a massive market for CIMB to gain a foothold in, considering that almost 40% of this is in the ASEAN region. RippleNet's Blockchain-Based Solution CIMB will be using Ripple's blockchain-based solution to improve its existing remittance service, PeedSend. This service currently enables users to send and receive funds and includes features like direct account credit and instant cash collection. However, incorporating Ripple technology will mean that PeedSend will not be limited to Malaysia but will facilitate payments throughout the ASEAN region. They will be given or they will be able to send cross-border payments hassle-free. CIM, or CEO of CIMB Group Tenko Datos, Sri, uh, Sri Zafrul Aziz, said, quoting, This innovative blockchain solution will revolutionize international cross-border remittances and is a testament to CIMB's ongoing efforts to enhance its digital banking proposition by providing speedy and cost-efficient solutions to our customers across ASEAN. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse also commented on partnership, saying, quoting, CIMB Network also spans 15 countries, nearly 800 branches, and over speed send, one of the best solutions in the ASEAN region. Now, by integrating Ripple's blockchain technology, they will enable their customers to send vital funds to family, friends, and loved ones for more efficiently. Or more efficiently, end quote. CIMB doesn't only plan on using RippleNet for its speed send product, but aims to roll it out to other use cases as well. All right, guys, so that was for the third article feature today about Ripple adds fifth largest Southeast Asian bank to enterprise blockchain network. So guys, what can you say about this? Share with us your opinions in our comment section below. And of course, you guys can also have your own copy of our newsletter directly sent to your email simply by going to the website preferredcurrency.news. Now here, once you are in the website, all you just have to do is go down and click on the link PayPal where you can pay 15 US dollars per month on a recurring basis or you can also pay at Coinbase for only $180 per year with your favorite crypto handled by Coinbase. And after you do that, you start to receive our newsletter 12 hours ahead of our broadcast here on YouTube. Alright, so now guys, I will give you a walkthrough on our newsletter. So here it is, the current issue. For the day November 21, which included the articles we uh, mentioned earlier, and we have websites that you guys uh, should look into. But first, um, to all our subscribers out there, you can also join our Telegram group simply by, uh, by clicking the image here on your copy of the newsletter. All right. So now let's go to the first website, uh, which is eosauthority.com/alerts. Now guys, this is a great website where you can get alerts about transactions on your account such as incoming and outgoing transfers, changes or additions to the keys, airdrop sent to the account, actions authorized by the account, or any ECAF arbitration notices. Also, EOS Authority performs as a block producer where it deals professionally with technical matters or issues of arbitration and governance. 
Again, guys, if you want to get notified regarding transactions on your EOS account, you can simply go to the website eosauthority.com slash alerts and just type in your account name and email address on the spaces provided for you. And then now here. To get the latest EOS market news or marketplace news from the experts, you can subscribe here at Preferred Currency News. You can also advertise what you have for sale in exchange for EOS and also what you would like to buy at our websites as follows. Now here, in your Chrome browser, you can go to eosmarketplace.news to add your listings. So here. Now, this one, guys, is just like your common spreadsheet where you can put your items on sale for EOS. So take, for example, um, you have any vacation rentals, real estate, boats, or services that you want to sell in exchange for EOS. You can post them here. But uh, don't you worry, this sheet is very accessible and it does not require any membership fee. All you just need, guys, is of course the name of the item you want to sell here on the general category, which is in column B. The, any description or definition for the item. Um, any link to the website for the description, such as photos or images. And of course, your contact information, such as phone number email address, Skype ID, Telegram, or other contact method, or WhatsApp so that our buyers will know how to reach you. Again, guys, if you have something there that you want to sell in exchange for EOS, you can go to the website eosmarketplace.news and add your listings. Now here, also, go to pcn.today for the latest news on blockchain. Now, guys, PCN.today is a website um, where it consists of different um, articles that we have collected from different websites in order to give you guys the latest and newest news and updates on blockchain today. Again, guys, um, if you want to know the latest happenings on your favorite crypto and on blockchain, you can simply go to the website PCN.today. There. And also, you can go to marketplace.pcn.today to place your additional listings. And also, go to preferredcurrency.news if you wish to become a web subscriber. And our web subscribers can also go to twitter.com slash preferredcrypto. Now, to get started, you can uh, sign up at pro.coinbase.com to change some US dollars into Bitcoin so that you can then transfer that Bitcoin to the Binance exchange where or, or go to the website binance.com where you can change your Bitcoin into EOS or other currencies if you want to. And also then you can download the free EOS Things wallet from Google Play Store or your favorite app store so that you can use EOS most easily. And also, guys, you can download the first EOS Links wallet on your Windows simply by going to the website eoslinks.com. There. And now here, um, we also have some uh, links here to some of the great websites that you might also be interested to look into. So, guys, um, to our subscribers out there or to all those who want to be a subscriber of our newsletter, you can click here. For you to see a good place where you can advertise whatever you have for sale or for rent in exchange for EOS tokens. Also, you can click here to see how to get free tokens for holders of EOS. Just guys, uh, be sure to click and explore all the links in each issue of this newsletter. And uh, we have an important announcement to you all to please contact Donald the Guru, if you have not transferred all of your EOS off the exchanges yet. Now, you need to have your EOS in an actual wallet where you control the private key in order to get the latest, newest free airdrops coming soon. Now, guys, the newer airdrops will not be based on the original Genesis snapshot and the easiest mobile wallet is currently EOS Links. Now, you can contact Donald by phone at 1-801-601-8105 or on WhatsApp at 1-801-471-6939 if you need help with this. And now here, 
uh, I will let you show um now guys this is the best part once you subscribe to our newsletter is that you get to see Donald's research list as to what he thinks are the most important coins or tokens are to be researched today based on fundamentals. Now, these are the ones that he thinks and is most definitely researching today and also invites you to do the same if you like to. So now let's go and take a look at Donald's research list simply by clicking the open spreadsheet tab here, which will direct us to this spreadsheet. So guys, this is Donald's analysis for the day November 21st, 2018. Now here, as you can see, on column A are the names of the coins or tokens. Now take note that the red ones have negative news, orange or tan are neutral, yellow are fair, green have good news, and blue shows the best news. On column B is the US dollar recent price. On column C, share of total market volume. On column D, Google searches compared to past 7 days. On column E, 50 candle SMA movement. On column F, number of positive technical indicators. On column G, 24 hours current volume versus price. On column H, 7 days weekly volume versus price. On column I, 30 days monthly volume versus price, and here on column J is the percent issued. Now take note that this sheet is not a recommendation for you to buy or sell crypto. But guys, if you decide that you would like some, always consider offering about 20% below the current market price whenever you place buy limit orders. And of course guys, you can also have your own copy of Donald's research list simply by clicking the word file here on the upper left corner click make a copy now you can rename the document if you like to then after that click OK here so that you could have your own version which you can modify as you wish for your own purposes and research you can also add columns personal notes and information to your own file copy right so now here guys also below in the newsletter you will also see some other lists of coins or tokens that is here the most high volume change interesting technical price action high weekly trade volume and high google search activity there now guys we also have a great program to you all crypto lovers out there where you can become an affiliate for preferredcurrency.news and earn your crypto each month. Now guys, you can invest your time in our affiliate program where you can earn affiliate commissions for 7 levels deep. But here, um, you should not post your affiliate link in public forums or comments, but do it as private messages only after you chat with a friend or owner of another channel or account. Now it's very easy guys to enroll. All you have to do is click on the image here on your copy of the newsletter or you can go to the website preferredcurrency.news here then click on the affiliate tab on the upper right corner enroll do your first blog and there you can earn your crypto it's very easy guys and um, if you have other questions you can always contact the publisher because he really wants to connect with you personally now here you can contact donald the guru through the following phone number at 1-801-601-8105 WhatsApp at 1-801-471-6939, Telegram at preferredcurrency.news, and our subscribers can also follow him on our Twitter channel at Preferred Crypto. There. Also now here guys, for training on how to use your Preferred Currency spreadsheet, you can click here for our YouTube channel which is called Preferred Currency News and our subscribers can follow us on our private subscribers Twitter at Preferred Crypto for alerts and updates between issues. You can also email us to let us know your Twitter so we know how to approve you and of also we invite other YouTube channels out there to freely review and analyze our data. We hope that you embrace our affiliate program. And now here guys also in the newsletter here. We also have some links to some of 
um, the websites or links that you guys might also be interested to look into so here now let's check it here All right now here below are some of popular exchanges shown to allow you to purchase most cryptocurrency just be sure to get your own referral link at each one so you can increase your monthly crypto income. Now, earning crypto each month is one of the most important parts of your efforts. Now, we have here Binance, Buybox, Cryptos, Cryptopia, and Coin Exchange. Also, if you want a good way to buy MITX, FSN, OneWorld, and QASH tokens, you can sign up here for the Cryptos Exchange. You can also earn extra tokens for referring others to this exchange. And now, also, you can check out this free online marketplace. It's free platform, no restrictions, earn cryptocurrency here. There are no sting fees, and you can buy or sell with cryptocurrency here worldwide. And also... To all USA residents out there, you can now spend crypto across the globe at over 38 million Visa merchants using your uh, Litecoins, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, or Bitcoins. You can also get a Visa debit card linked to your um, Litecoins, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, or Bitcoins. And also here lastly guys, to earn some extra money free and easily without any investment needed, you can click on the link here so that you can invest your extra new income in a steady purchase of crypto each month. And also, uh, for more tips to help you get started, you can click this link here or you can also Skype to Donald.fcda with any questions. All right. Now guys, all of the information provided in this video is presented as news and education only, not to be considered advice. You see here guys, we are not financial advisors and we highly recommend that you do your own research to make your own decisions for yourself. Now this channel and the website preferredcurrency.news is simply a gathering of the rumors and research available online each day. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscri uh, subscribe to our channel for more updates. This is once again Mia, your daily YouTube broadcaster, signing off and I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys!